All right, so I was going to just move on from the LSU game and talk about Georgia and just kind of move on. But I clicked over on the video I put up Saturday night after the game, the video that's titled, I'll Have Words Later. And I, it kind of tripped me out. I've got like over 3,000 views on that video. And that just kind of blew my mind because it was such a short video of me just standing here with no words for the game. And the reason I didn't put up my immediate reaction after the game is because in the past, I've had reactions and we all have reactions to games where when you look at it a day or two later you're like Jesus boy was I wrong and this time I didn't want that to happen I wanted to have time for my anger my disappointment my disgust I wanted to have time to reach over there somewhere and grab my heart wherever it was and put it back in my chest um, so looking back on the game right now there was a myriad of things that went wrong at the end of that game, uh, both on LSU's side and on Tennessee's side, but mostly on Tennessee's side. I just got done watching Dooley's press conference Monday, and that cleared a lot of stuff up for me. I now understand why they were substituting at the end of the game when all weekend I've been saying, why was he substituting? God, why was he, you know, why didn't they just leave the guys in there, blah, 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 blah. Now, as the play turned out, my theory on why was he substituting, it would have been the correct call um, because, you know, the ball went past the quarterback. It wouldn't have mattered who you had in there. But the point of substitution is, like Derek Dooley said, you know, if, if they hadn't substituted, LSU would have had receivers out there being guarded by defensive linemen and linebackers. You don't want that. Um, so that that's my take on that. As far as the helmet being thrown off for LSU, the guy – you know, the guy that took his helmet off in the middle of the play and slammed it down. As it turns out, the way that would have happened, if everything had been called correctly, Tennessee would have gotten the penalty for unsportsmanlike or illegal participation. Illegal participation with the 13 men on the field. They would have been penalized half the distance of the goal, and then the flag, which never occurred for the guy taking his helmet off, would have been 15 yards. So LSU, there would have still been another play from the... Tennessee 15 yard line and one foot or whatever um, so that's what would have happened basically the way I feel today on Monday two days after this is it's over you can't do shit about it um, as a fan obviously I can't do nothing about it I can either wallow in my misery over the fact that we could have had a, a huge win at Derek Dooley getting his uh, you know a, a daggone epic win for his coaching career um, but it just didn't happen not Jack Diddley do I can do about it except turn my sights as a fan towards this coming weekend and the impending ass kicking that we're going to give Georgia I feel sorry for Georgia fans because as bad as our team is this year and as crappy a season as we are having look at those guys man come on preseason you know, everybody, even myself, I thought Georgia had a legit chance at winning the East. Um, and that's real talk right there. I love to poke fun at Georgia. I love to give their fans hell for us being far superior to them in every aspect of the game. But the bottom line is they were supposed to have a good team this year and definitely better than us, and that's not happening. <laughs> this game this weekend's turned into the, the who gives a shit bowl. You know, other than outside of Georgia and Tennessee, who in the world gives a crap about one and four going up against two and three? Well, let me tell you something. I give a shit. And I guarantee you, Herschel Talker, Mr. Big Dog, UGA owns 24-7, Magnum, Tau, uh, next Kobe, all the Bulldog fans care because they want a piece of Tennessee. And I wish we could, here's what I wish. I wish we could take Tennessee put them in the stands, take Georgia, put them in the stands, and line up the dog pound versus the blue tick bullies out there between the hedges. I guarantee you we'd kick y'all's ass. Now, I'd worry about uh, I'd worry about Mr. Big Dog. He's a pretty big guy. He, he'd make a good tight end. Um, Magnum, he's, he's a short, you know, whippy little guy. He'd be a good scat back, so I'd worry about him. Uh, I wouldn't worry about Ghost of Burke Russell because we wouldn't see him. 
Uh, Herschel, he's an old guy like me. I wouldn't worry about him. We hit him in the knees once he's done for the game. Uh, UGA owns 24-7. I wouldn't worry about him because he'd be worrying about the band up in the stands. Uh, Tao, there's who I would worry about. No, I wouldn't worry about Tao either because he's always hanging this Tennessee shirt up in his videos. What's up with that, Tao? I've seen you spit on that thing. I've seen you piss on it. I've seen you do all kinds of stuff to that thing, but it keeps coming back. What's up with that, brother? Are you a Closet Tennessee fan? Do we need to just go on out and make a video declaring Timmy Tao as Tennessee ball fan in the closet number one? Because I'm willing to go there with you. I'm willing to put you up on a pedestal and proclaim you ball fan number one. Nah, screw that. Back to the LSU game real quick. Let me Let me put this puppy to bed. Um, and at the end of this video, I'm going to put up my actual reaction to that game because I've had a ton of people want to see the rest of that. So I'm going to put that up just to give you guys a good laugh. Um, it's a loss. There's nothing we can do to change it. Um, I'm very confident that Derek Dooley is going to do the things that he needs to do to make sure this never happens again. I feel very much satisfied after seeing his press conference and the things that he will do to make sure this doesn't happen again. As far as my volunteers, yeah, I'm a bit concerned about them being able to get up for this game. But what he also did was he said he called the team first thing Sunday, got the team together, and did what he said what he has to say and did what he has to do to get this team rallied around each other and to put LSU behind them. Otherwise, like he said, you're going to have all these fans, all these students coming up to these players on Sunday going, man, you guys got screwed. You know, wow, you guys won that game. You know, they hear that shit all day Sunday, come to, come to meetings on Monday. They're not listening to Coach Dooley. They're thinking about Billy Bob, the big orange fan, in his ear on Sunday. You know, they don't need that shit. So there's going to be no practice today for Tennessee. They will get back at it tomorrow. And I have every confidence that this team will go down to Athens, Georgia on Saturday at 1221 when they kick off and show those Bulldogs that the Volunteers indeed are, as they always have been, the superior squad to the Bulldogs. That's what I said! Thank you, Les Miles! Thank you, Les Miles! You oh my goodness! The hat is on the seat! The hat is, Oh, look at this. Look at this! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Les Miles! This victory is compliments of Les Retardo Miles. Let me go make a video, Justin. I'll be right back. Ah! Now look! Now look! Now look, kids! I don't know the intricacies of college football play calling. I don't. I don't. I've expressed that before. I do know this. When you've got it first and goal from the two-yard line against a team that is well documented to be loaded with freshmen, fucking decimated on the defensive line, you've ran the ball at will all day on them, no timeouts, Again, first and goal from the two. What do you do? Keith! What? I wouldn't make it too much. I get another play. What? We had 12 men on the fucking field. Oh, are you kidding me? No. This game is not over. Are you absolutely kidding me? Wait a minute. I don't see a 12 man on the field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three on. Four in, three out. Five out. Oh, Look here, I got the winner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hell, you got thirteen. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I got thirteen people on the field. I got the winner. Three on. And look at that shit. Oh my god. What a break for LSU. They had no idea what they wanted to do. A one on time play 
Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I'm convinced that we're going to make this fucking play again. Come on, boys. Man up. Man up. Man up. Hold him. God damn it.